Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Gina Nicole, and today I'm serving you guys with this cut crease makeup look, okay? So if you like what you see and you wanna know how I achieve this look, then of course, sis, you gotta keep on watching. Okay, you guys, starting off, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Pencil, and I'm gonna use the spoolie brush um, end of it to brush my eyebrows in place. And then I'm gonna go in with um, my Anastasia Brow Gel. And I'm just gonna use this, and this is just to hold my eyebrows in place throughout the day so they don't move. Okay, so after I apply my brow gel, I'm just going to take my hands and to just like fan them so they can dry. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and get to these eyebrows. Now sis, look at my eyebrows. They are twins, but they are not identical, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my Beverly Hills Anastasia um, pencil and I'm just going to fill them in using short strokes. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with this eyebrow. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other eyebrow and come back with the next step. All right, so going in with my concealer in the color Fawn, I'm just going to clean up and shape my eyebrows to my liking. Now that I'm done shaping my eyebrows, I'm just going to take a larger flat brush and I'm just going to continue to blend this product into my eyelid. Alright, so I want you guys to take a look at these two different concealers. The top one is Chestnut, the bottom is Fawn. I'm going to go in with the top, which is Chestnut, and I'm going to outline my, the top part of my eyebrow with this color. The reason I do this is because I don't like the highlighty look on top of my eyebrows, so I go in with the darker concealer to um, clean up my eyebrows. Real quick, I'm going to go back in with my spoolie brush to my eyebrows and I'm just going to kind of like brush it out a little bit. This is going to give me the ombre effect because I don't like um, a harsh beginning of the eyebrow, if that makes sense. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my powder. Now I don't remember the name of this powder, but I will put it in the description bar below once I find out what it is. And I'm just going to set my concealer on my eyelids and this is prepping my eyes for our eyeshadow i'm using the milani palette i got this from walmart you guys by the way and i'm going in with the color eat cake it is a light pink as you can see and i'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid this is in with my concealer in the color fawn and i'm going to use this to cut my crease now this video is sped up you guys so just keep in mind to take your time and do not rush this part. Now all I'm doing here is going in with the color style icon and I'm just going to replace the color that um, may have came off while I was cutting my crease. So that's all you see me doing here is just going back in and just um, reapplying the same color. Now I'm going to go in with 24-7 Chill and I'm going to apply this all over my lid where we cut with the, um, the 
filler. If you're still watching, that means you're enjoying my tutorial. So why not take the time and subscribe? Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new tutorial, guys. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with my eyeshadows. I'm just taking some makeup white removers and I'm just going to uh, clean up my eyeshadow and then move on to my eyeliner. Now, sis, I'm not the best when it comes to applying eyeliner. I'm still learning how to apply a wing liner, but this, this is good enough, okay? As I was applying my eyeliner, I realized that my eyeshadow on my eyelid wasn't as bright as I want it to be. So I'm just going back into that color 24-7 Chill and I'm just going to reapply my eyelid. Alright, so moving right along, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I am using Makeup Forever and I'm just going to apply this all over my face and blend it in with a damp beauty blender taking my concealer in the color fine I'm just going to apply this all over my highlighted areas which is my forehead under my eyes my nose and around my mouth and don't forget your chin And we're going to blend this out again with the same damp beauty blender. To set my face, I'm going in with my Luxe Pro Powder in Banana. And I'm just going to apply this everywhere we um, applied our concealer. And this will just set the concealer to take away that shine and give me more of a matte look. This right here is Smashbox 2-in-1. It's a foundation and a contour stick. I don't use the foundation, but I do use the contour side of it. And this right here, we're going to use it to contour our nose, our forehead, and our cheekbones. And of course, wherever you apply cream, you have to set it 